International Faith Conference, and we welcome you. There are things that have been held up in the spirit that will be released in these days. You're gonna bury evil. Dig that grave. Dig it. Let your faith dig it. Now take that shovel. Start covering it. Cover that poverty. Like Miriam, you will see this enemy no more. But have you ever had God swoop in just in the nick of time? Hallelujah. He'll swoop in and pick you back up. Oh, I don't know who I'm talking to, but I came to tell somebody help is on the way. Help is on the way. Living the life of faith is living a life of victory. 24 hours a day, victory in Jesus, victory in this world. The most important thing among us is the blessing of the Lord. And the blessing of the Lord is empowered by the anointing of God. Yes, yes. I empowered myself by surrounding myself with proven and committed people. Not just committed. There's always a lot of people say, I'm with you, man. I'm with you. No, you're not. You, you prove it because when the persecution comes, can you handle it? Because Percy ain't cute no more. They need to know that if I don't see a way out, God has a million ways out of that situation. And how do they get to know that? They see we're walking it out. I want you to know the dream that God gave you years ago, I don't care what hell you've been through, I don't care what devil has risen to try to kill your destiny, whatever God promised you 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago, four weeks ago, it is still on you today, and it will still come to pass tomorrow. Just slip your hands up to heaven. Touch him, Jesus. Don't cut this. In the middle of your trouble, decree a thing. In the middle of your worst situation, speak the word of God. God is looking for a people who are bold, who are righteous, who are not ashamed of the gospel, who are not ashamed of what God has said for us to do, and I believe he found it in this meeting. 